Hello all the students. Today we are going to study the different types of computer networks oh, and we will see here that how we can classify a computer network. What are the criteria for classifying a computer network? Now broadly speaking there are two, class, uh, two ways in which we can classify a computer network. One is using the transmission technology and other is using the scale or size of the network. Transmission technology means how you are transmitting the data from the source to the destination. So this is one way of classifying the network and scale or size means the actual size of the network or the area that the network covers, right? So th that is one another way of classifying the computer network. So basically these are the two different ways in which you can classify a network. One classification is based on the transmission technology and other classification is based on the scale or size of the network. In today's video we are going to st uh, study the transmission technology that means we are going to study the classification of a computer network based on the transmission technology. Right. So in today's video, we will not look at the scale classification based on the scale or size of the computer network. Today we will only focus on the classification based on the transmission technology. Now when I talk of transmission technology, that means what technology or how uh, what technology am I using to transmit the data from the sender to the receiver or how am I transmitting the data from the sender to the receiver, right? So basically there are two, uh, uh, broadly speaking, there are two different ways in which you can transmit the data from the sender to the receiver. One is the broadcast link and other is the point-to-point -point link. That means in terms of transmission, there are two different ways in which you can transmit the data from the sender to the receiver. One is using the broadcast links and other is using the point-to-point -point links. So these two transmission technologies we will st study in detail today. So let's look at the broad broadcast link. What do you understand by the broadcast link or what is a broadcast link? A br it is also known as a broadcast network, right? You can call it a broadcast link or you can call it a broadcast network. So what is a broadcast network? As per the definition, a broadcast network has a single communication channel. There is a single communication channel that is shared by all that is shared by all the machines on the network so basically if there it is a broadcast network if it is a broadcast network then it will uh, have a single communication channel which would be shared by all the nodes in the network. A single communication channel, no matter what the number of nodes are, all of them will share the single communication channel, right? So basically in this kind of uh, transmission technology, short messages are sent and these short messages are known as packets and these short messages which are known as packets are sent by any machine and are received by all the other machines or nodes. Now it's quite obvious that when there is a single communication channel and all the nodes are connected through that single communication channel so obviously if one machine sends a message or a one node sends a message that message would be received by all. So if one mas machine sends a message then that particular message is received by all the machines or 
nodes fine now if all the message uh, machines receive that node but that, that does not mean that that particular message or packet is intended for all the machines so then how do the machines identify that how do the, how does that particular machine identify that this message is meant for me it is through an address field right with the packet there is an address field in which the address of the intended recipient is mentioned so when all the machines or all the nodes receive that particular packet and then they check the address field so if that address field is of that particular node it will process that message further and if that mess the if that address field is not of that particular node then it will simply ignore the message right so this is how the broadcast network works now uh, it is also possible to send the same message to more than one destination here we saw that in case of broadcast networks how the message was sent to a single destination though multiple destinations or multiple machines were receiving it but it was intended only for a single machine and uh, uh, in the address field the address of that particular machine was mentioned and then that particular machine on finding its address in the address field further processed it but it is also possible to send the same message to multiple destinations right so there is a possibility of addressing of addressing a packet to multiple destinations this is also possible in case of broadcast links or broadcast networks how is this achieved for this there is a special code in the address field along with the address field a special code is added so that you get to know that this particular message is for more than one destination so when a packet with this special code is transmitted it is received and then it is processed by not just one but every machine on that network right so this is how this mechanism of sending a packet to more than one destination is achieved right now this mode of operation where you can send a packet to all more than one destination or to all the machines on that network is known as broadcasting wherein a source can send a packet to all the machines or uh, to all the machines on that network so this mechanism is known as broadcasting the only thing now you do is that you add a special code along with the address field so when this special code is found in the address field the machines all the machines that are receiving this packet know that it is for all of them it is for them they do not need to check the address field now because the special code is added and so, so they know that this is for them so every machine that receives this packet on seeing this special code processes this packet instead of ignoring it so this way all the machines receive a packet from a single destination and this mechanism is known as broadcasting now it is also possible to support transmission to a subset of machines now in case of broadcasting we were targeting all the machines on the network it, but it may be possible that we want to send the packet to just a subset of machines and not all machines on the network right you want to transmit the packet 
or message to just a subset of machines on the network so how do you achieve this so one possible scheme is to reserve one bit you reserve one there is one bit in the address field and this is to indicate multicasting this uh, one bit represents the presence or absence of multicasting and if it indicates multicasting in that case each machine can subs who has subscribed to that particular group now the machines need to subscribe to a group and all the machines on that particular group on receiving that particular message can then process it but they need to be subscribed to that group so this way you can receive the packets you can send the packets to a subset of machines instead of just a single machine or instead of all the machines so this this mechanism in which you transmit the data packets to a subset of machines is known as multi casting okay so this was about the broadcast links now the other transmission technology that we are talking about is your point to point links now what is point to point links in case of point to point links or point to point networks there are many connections between individual pairs of machines like in broadcast links we saw there was just a single connection but here in case of point to point links there are many connections between individual pairs of machines okay now to go from the source to destination suppose a packet has to go from a source to the destination then in that case the packet will have to visit one or more intermediate machines so there are intermediate machines from the source to the destination in between there are multiple paths and multiple machines on that paths so that means this particular packet will have to travel from these multiple paths and go through different machines right so that means there are multiple routes available between a single source and a single destination here because there is not just one communication channel just like imagine there is a single road from your home to your college in that case you do not have any option you will always take the same route but imagine if you have more than one routes from your home to college so same is the case for point to point networks in case of point to point network there is not a single communication channel there, there are many connections between individual pairs of machines that means from a source to destination you can have multiple paths out so here the big responsibility is to choose the best available path because since there are more than one path for, uh, for reaching from one particular source to one particular destination so choosing the best available route is a task here because uh, depending upon the congestion or traffic in the route or depending upon the time taken to uh, reach from a source to a destination you may find out an optimal route from reaching a particular source to the destination which is the main task over here because you have more than one route over here now uh, as a general rule generally what happens is that the localized networks basically when you have localized networks by localized networks i mean those networks which are geographically small such networks use broadcasting right because in such small uh, uh, to cover such small areas a single communication 
channel can be used you can manage with a single communication channel when the geographical area is small so as a rule localized networks or geographically small networks use your broadcasting now point to point transmission uh, when we talk of point to point transmission then there are many senders and many receivers on the network but when in case of point to point transmission you there is only one sender and there is only one receiver such kind of point to point networks are known as uni casting so this is about the different types of networks based upon the transmission technology